What's up, everyone? Welcome to Film Spot, and today we'll be talking about best upcoming movies. Quintessa Swindell has officially been cast to play the DC hero Cyclone in the Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam film. She will join Black Adam as a member of the Justice Society of America. According to Dwayne Johnson himself, Swindell is now officially a part of that project as Cyclone. Can't wait to work with them, and we ready to rumble in the DC jungle, Johnson wrote on Twitter in a warm welcome to Swindell. They will join Noah Centineo's Adam Smasher and Aldous Hodge's Hawkman in the growing Justice Society, which will likely stand in opposition to Black Adam. Given the character's anti-hero status, it remains to be seen how all the different classic DC characters will fit together on screen. Multiple disparate Spidey worlds were already set to collide in the MCU's Spider-Man 3, but it might be an even more packed affair, with William Defoe and Thomas Hayden Church reportedly returning as Green Goblin and Sandman. Played by Tom Holland, the latest incarnation of Peter Parker had been framed for murder by the villainous Mysterio. As if that wasn't enough of a cliffhanger, his secret identity had also been leaked to the public. For many, that seemed like the perfect threads to follow through in the confirmed sequel. However, it's become more and more apparent that Spider-Man 3 will essentially be two films in one. As well as the chaos that could come from criminals knowing Spidey's identity, the film will also be pulled into the multiverse drama that's set to be central to the MCU's Phase 4. It was previously announced that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield will both reprise their iterations of the popular superhero. Furthermore, they look set to bring several allies and antagonists with them, as well as Emma Stone's Gwen Stacy and Kirsten Dunst's Mary Jane Watson, Jamie Foxx's Electro, and Alfred Molina's Doc Ock were also confirmed. According to the Illuminati, however, they won't be the only villains to joining in with the fun. The outlet exclusively stated that Defoe and Church are currently finalizing deals to return. Defoe famously played Green Goblin and featured in all three installments of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy. Church, meanwhile, played the remorseful Sandman in a much maligned third film of the same trilogy. The Illuminati's information apparently comes from an unnamed source, so should be taken with a pinch of salt until an official announcement is made. Still, given the extent of the cast so far, it's not at all outside the realm of possibility. New plot details are revealed for Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. Directed by Destin Cretton and starring Simu Liu, the movie will debut the real Mandarin played by legendary Asian actor Tony Leung, following the villain's fake reveal in Iron Man 3. Marvel Studios has released the first official synopsis for Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. As posted on Marvel.com, the film will see Shang-Chi confront his past following encounter with the Ten Rings, the same terror group who's behind Tony Stark's kidnapping in Iron Man. Marvel Studios reshuffles the Phase 4 slate once again, delaying Thor Love and Thunder, Black Panther 2, and Captain Marvel 2 by a few months each. During Disney's Investor Day 2020, Feig shared major announcements about almost every upcoming MCU project, including the reveal of several new ones. But all of the excitement surrounding new shows, characters, and footage overshadowed that Thor Love and Thunder, Black Panther 2, and Captain Marvel 2 have new release dates. These changes saw Thor 4 move to May 6, 2022 after previously having a February 2022 release date. Meanwhile, Black Panther 2 was delayed from May to July 8, and Captain Marvel 2 moved from July to November 11. During Disney's Investor Day presentation on Thursday, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige confirmed that the third Ant-Man movie is officially on the way and that the title is Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Additionally, it was revealed that Freaky star Catherine Newton has been added to the cast as Cassie Lang, which means that Furman is no longer in the role. This comes as a pretty big surprise to fans, considering Furman was just cast as Cassie Lang a couple of years ago. It had to be assumed at that point that she'd be appearing in Ant-Man 3 as well. Perhaps the delays in various Marvel productions due to the pandemic had something to do with the recasting. Then again, Newton has become a recognizable star in her own right, so Marvel may have just wanted to capitalize on that. Warner Brothers Pictures officially revealed the release date of Mortal Kombat from director Simon McCoy and producers Todd Garner and James Wan. The movie, which stars the likes of Joe Taslam, McCad Brooks, Josh Lawson, Ludi Lin, Jessica McNamee, Chin Han, and Tadanobu Asano, was announced several years ago and was officially poised to release next month, but will now release on April 16, 2021. In addition to announcing the release date, the movie's producer, Todd Garner, has revealed that a new trailer won't be coming until the next year. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one!